When diagnosing an engine fault, multiple instances of the check sensor task can run concurrently depending on the number of error messages received. Only when all messages have been processed can the identify fault task be initiated. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on BPMN and workflow patterns. Today we look at the multiple instances with a priori runtime knowledge pattern. Within a given process instance, multiple instances of a task can be created. The required number of instances may depend on a number of runtime factors including state data, resource availability and inter-process communications but is known before the task instances must be created. Once initiated, these instances are independent of each other and run concurrently. It is necessary to synchronize the instances at completion before any subsequent task can be triggered. You can see the behavior in the original flash animation. So here we start our process instance and now we can enter the number of items in the multi-instance task and we can complete them in any order and only if all of them have been completed we can continue and finish the process instance. In BPMN this can be implemented with a multi-instance task. So here we start with diagnosing the engine fault and we have a number of error messages that we receive and then the multi-instance task has one work item for each of these messages and only if all of them are completed we can continue and identify the fault. A word about a priori runtime knowledge. We know the number of multi-instance work items before the multi-instance task starts. In this example the number of multi-instance work items is determined by the number of error messages that results from the first task. Thank you for watching.